Hello, I'm Matt Ort, and <clears throat> I've got an interesting topic for you today. You hear me talk a lot about health care and sustainability, which are all critical things for our country and for employers and families and communities across our nation. Uh, but what about sustainability as individuals, right? What keeps us going? What helps us uh, get out of bed, have a bounce in our step, and have something to look forward to? Uh, there are two maybe pieces of life wisdom that I'd like to share with you today, both actually research-based as well, and uh, really two keys to living a fulfilled life, if you will, an impactful life that may seem obvious, but if we look around, we all can fall into you know the trap of not doing these things and therefore being more frustrated and having less hope and less inspiration. So uh, number one, <clears throat> uh, be benevolent. So um, it, it, you've probably seen videos or heard about, right? We all, everyone's carrying this invisible baggage, right? So it may seem, hey, Matt, how's it going? Going great. Happy Tuesday. How are you? And uh, yeah, how about you? Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's great. And really, it's not, right? We're all carrying something. Maybe someone just lost a parent. I lost my dad a few months ago. Uh, maybe they've had a, a their frustration, uh, frustration financially. Maybe they had a difficult conversation with their teenager a whole long list of things that we're all carrying. So we all can get kind of caught up in ourselves and um, and focus just on our own preservation and our own safety and security. Nothing wrong with that. We should always make sure of that. However, what often doesn't happen is, happen is that we don't help others. And so there's a research study I read many years ago that talked about the happiest people. And so who are the happiest people? You think, well, yeah, it must be the ones with the money or it must be the ones with a perfect marriage and family. No such thing. Uh, it must be the ones with the uh, coolest car, or coolest job or whatever, right? The coolest house. Uh, not even close, actually. The hap the, uh, the hap those things don't bring happiness. The, ha the happiest people are, one are the ones that help others the most. So it it's good to help others financially. Nothing wrong with that. That's certainly a good thing. But we're talking specifically about time and energy. So helping someone physically, helping, it could be as small as helping um, an, old, um, an elderly person cross the street. It could be giving somebody a ride. It could be buying someone lunch. It could be much bigger. My wife and I are in foster care. And as I look at these babies, we have a six-week-old baby right now. It has a full head of curly hair. He has the cutest little thing ever. He's got eyes. He's six weeks. He acts like he's three or four months. He's kind of... He talks to you in these baby conversations. <clears throat> he's got the sweetest little voice. He smiles, and he's got like the awareness of a three or four month old baby. Um, so we're helping this child. This child has no one else in the world, and so we've got two or three of those kids on our own now. And so that's easy, and that'll wear you out. And sometimes these things are hard, hard work. But that's just one of a hundred examples that we can do uh, to help others. So we take the focus off of ourselves and our own weight and our own struggles and frustrations and we realize others need help that's number one number two you've probably heard me talk about these bef this before uh, but uh, there was a research study about uh, uh, interviewing elderly in nursing homes and retirement homes and assisted living and they asked them they said what would you do differently right you're kind of at the end of your life some are just sitting in a chair like watching wheel of fortune all day some are living a more active life, whatever it may be, but essentially they're retired and they're on the downside of life, if you will. One of the biggest themes, or the biggest theme, was that they wish they would have taken more chances. So kind of on that thing, we get, we get in this mode where we say, I, I need safety and security, I need to look out for myself, I need to look out for number one, and uh, I'm going to play it safe. And nothing wrong with playing it safe, that's part of wisdom. Uh, but often we play it so safe that when someone needs help, we didn't step out to help them. Or when we, when we you know, had a dream, we didn't chase it and, 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 and that kind of thinking. So I think those two things, being benevolent and helping others and taking the focus off of ourself and our own life. And so getting to the end of our life and saying, I lived a life that truly helped others. It wasn't just about me and my financial growth or, and, and whatever it may be, right? Just me, me, me. I helped others. And then I took chances to do that. I took chances to help others that I didn't just stay in my shell. So hopefully that offers some wisdom today. Um, it's just a piece, right? We all have our own perspectives and our own experiences. So we'd love to hear your opinion on those things. But those are two things I've learned in my just turned 50 
um, midlife, I guess. I'm not sure how long I'll live, but uh, that really helped me and really, uh, to me, feels like how we can live to have, an, have a life that's impactful on others. So have a great day.